But if you don't want to endure extra traffic, maybe enjoy some weather tomorrow, not a bad day. Yeah, we're coming off kind of a 50-50-ish weekend, but we're going to get a little of almost everything this week, Pamela. Yeah, we're going to go up, we're going to go down. Hazy, hot, and humid one of these days, and also some storm chances in there, too, and even some tropical downpours by the end of your work week forecast. A little bit of everything for sure. 74 degrees tomorrow for the high temperature, warmer than what we had all weekend long, and then summer-like on Tuesday. Humid, 81 degrees, down to 64 on Wednesday as a cold front sweeps by, 80 degrees on Thursday, and then 65 degrees on Friday. The average high should be in the mid-60s. We're going to be right around it for at least a couple of days or above it all week long. And the tropics, we're always keeping an eye on what's going on there. Hurricane season technically begins June 1st, but as we all know, things are going to happen as they happen, and the water's heating up across the Gulf, and we have a 40% chance of a tropical formation in the next five days. However, there's still a very high hazard of heavy rain across all of Florida over the next week or so, up to nine inches of rain accumulation from this area of low pressure, something we'll be watching. Hot and humid weather just to our south and west. We're on the northern side of this semi-stationary front. Along it, waves of low pressure moving through, bringing in those repeated rain and storm chances and some severe weather across the Midwest and even across the Great Plains. High pressure in control for our forecast on Monday, and that's why we have a little bit of a southeast-south airflow right now. Sustained wind, not very strong. There's a very light breeze right now, starting to calm somewhat. And because it's starting to calm, our dew point temperatures are going up and our overnight low temps are going down, meeting the high humidity levels for fog formation. And we have some dense fog forming across Nantucket, two and a half miles or less with the visibility. Other than that, perfect, looking good and clear, but more of that dense fog will develop in the forecast tonight. Satellite radar shows that no rain's moving through. We have mostly clear skies to the north and west. High temperatures today stuck in the 50s across southern and eastern parts of the state here thanks to the cloud cover. But to the north and west where you saw more sunshine throughout the day, we had high temperatures in the 60s and it was a beautiful Mother's Day. Temperatures now have cooled a few degrees. 49 in Boston and Lawrence, 53 in Manchester and 51 in Worcester. Overnight tonight down to about 46 degrees. Light breeze from the south and east. That's what we're already experiencing, plus that fog develops into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, once the fog erodes away, we'll have gradually clearing skies and temperatures soar into the low 70s, a south-southwest wind, keeping temperatures along the south coast slightly cooler. But we avoid the rain chances until we get into your Tuesday forecast. So Monday, gradual clearing. Overnight Tuesday, there's a chance for a couple showers to pass by to our north and west. The main event moves in Tuesday evening, and this could erupt perhaps a strong thunderstorm. Depends how much sunshine or how much instability we see as it is going to be a very summer-like weather pattern for us on Tuesday. Damaging wind gusts would be the primary threat. Also some torrential rainfall potential since there is a little bit of a tropical air mass in place on Tuesday with the higher humidity levels. High of 81 though. Wednesday we're drying off down to 64 and much more spring-like forecast there. Back to summer Thursday and then next weekend we'll be watching a tropical system ushering in perhaps at least some of that tropical moisture. So not technically a tropical system, but we'll get that moisture transport from perhaps that area of low pressure that's trying to form across Florida. What that means to us, Maybe pretty rainy Saturday, Sunday, but we'll work on that this week. Ken, Katie? I saw it there. That was your pretty rainy face. I was yes. going to comment on that, too. <laughs> All right, Pamela, thanks.